like and subscribe. What's up YouTube? Welcome to another Counting Wisdom YouTube video. Today is June 30th um, and I wanted to just give some encouragement. I wanted to talk about heaven um, and also just wanted to um, talk about maybe some uh, points give uh, some pointers like I normally do about um, what I'm learning as a Christian and how to be a better Christian and um, I hope it's helpful you know the first thing heaven you know heaven is gonna be an amazing place um, Jesus tells us in John 14 that he's going to be prepare a place for us you know that's where Jesus went Jesus uh, went to prepare a place for us in heaven and that he's going to come back and to receive us there and so we have a home in heaven you know earth is ultimately uh, going to be our home in a way because heaven comes down from where it is now to earth you know as we read in Revelation um, heaven actually comes down or the new Jerusalem comes down out of heaven and sits on earth and that's where we'll live forever and so we can look forward to that Jesus tells us that he's going to be taking away our pain he's going to be taking away our sorrow he's going to be taking away so many bad things sin he's going to be taking that away and so we have so much motivation to live right you know, yes, it might not be uh, tomorrow necessarily, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And we buy our tickets now. We buy our tickets now and prepare and just we pack our bags now, even though obviously we can't take anything with us to heaven except, you know, our body. But, you know, that if we die, we our soul goes up to heaven. We can't we really take our body. You know and our we take our soul and Jesus gives us a new body so you know we have so many good things to live for you know whether you're going through something hard right now I would say focus on Jesus focus on heaven you know instead of uh, there's a great book by Randy Alcorn called heaven um, and I really I really recommend listening to that audiobook I recommend getting audible um, by Amazon um, or you can get Christian audiobook go to Christian audiobook.com um, and they have audiobooks there so if you want to if you have an interest in getting into books um, but you may not like reading so much but you want to listen to books then I recommend either audible or Christian audiobook.com and those are two great websites that you can uh, get an app as well that you can download an app to your phone and get audiobooks you know um, and um, audible they both do kind of cost money if you were looking for a free something free um, I recommend um, your library so if you have a library card um, depending on what area you're in your, your library should have free audiobooks that you can download to your phone or device and I really recommend that um, I think a lot of libraries use hoopla h o o p l a I think it's called hoopla or opera um, and you I definitely recommend connecting to your local library and getting audiobooks um, but anyway you know heaven is going to be a great place where we're going to enjoy just the joys of life that God has to offer us now um, for example you know how we fellowship with one another you know we're going to be able to have great deep friendships you know obviously we have friendships now but sometimes life gets in the way you know we we sometimes lose our friendships here and you know that's not going to happen in heaven you know we're going to be able to travel the universe we're going to be able to explore god we're going to be able to know god you know all the different questions that we have about god 
you know, all the different um, things that we want to know about God, God is going to be able to answer those. And I obviously can't say for certain, but um, I think we know that God is going to answer those questions, you know, and I, I recommend getting into the habit now of knowing God, you know, and um, try to be the best Christian that you can be. You know, obviously, it's it's easy to think, oh, I'm a good Christian. You know, I used to think that about myself, you know, until I actually like I ran into some problems where I saw my own faults. You know, I saw my own like issues and I was like, oh, I'm not that good of a Christian. So anyway, we should still strive to be perfect, you know, as uh, be let Christ, you know, Christ can make us perfect, even though. We as people might have faults. We might do things wrong. Let's believe Christ to make us perfect, you know, to complete us, you know. And so I recommend putting your faith in Jesus, you know, believe Jesus, call on the name of the Lord today, you know, and you will be healed. You will be saved. Um, and that's where we get relief from our problems. You know, if you're having an issue, whether it be addiction whether it be anger, you know, maybe you're an angry person, maybe you have trauma in your past. Jesus is the answer to everything, you know, all your situation. He really is, you know, and so we have to trust him. We have to put our faith in him every day. You know, it's not just a one time thing. The Christian walk is hard. You know, it's hard because we have temptation. You know, we have things the world we live in a world full of wicked people and we having to not be wicked ourselves you know we're having to resist temptation we have a spiritual warfare going on we have spiritual beings who are evil that are attacking us and so we have to put our faith in Christ and realize that he greater is he that is in us than he that is in the, in the world and so we have the holy spirit you know ask god for the holy spirit why not if we're told that we're given the holy spirit when we come to christ but you know if you want to ask god for the holy spirit why not ask him you know jesus says that god he will give good things to those who ask him ask god for good things in your life you know if you feel like you don't have good things in your life ask God for good things and he will give those good things to you you know um, I the Bible says pray about everything so any topic that you can think of you know whether it be death and dying whether it be your relationship problems whether it be money issues whether it be um, your how your emotions are going your feelings you know God has answers for us and so anyway you know, I recommend get involved in your church, you know, go to Bible study, you know, try to serve in your church, you know. And so um, I just left Bible study tonight. It was a really good message. You know, it was about Paul. We're studying the heroes of faith. And, you know, I'll just share a little bit if you're interested. Um, basically, you know we learned how Paul is kind of a fighter. He's kind of a guy who gets things done. You know, he's a guy who uh, is willing to fight for Christ, but he was also a sinner. You know, he was also, he called himself the chief of sinners. And so, you know, today, if you feel like, oh, I've sinned so much, I've messed up so much, you know, how can God accept me? Don't let that be an issue. You know, come to Christ today and you can be a better person. You know, it may take some time, you know, but be patient, you know. And that's the other thing I want to tell you is that one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is patience. And sometimes God has, has us wait for the things that we want. And sometimes you sometimes we have to wait. But we have to realize that God is good, you know, that he is so good, you know, and he's only good, you know, and when everything that we think about God, we have to filter through that God is good. You know, there's a 
even in a psalm there's this guy in the psalms who had this perspective he had the perspective of god what i'm suffering it was good for me that's what he said in psalm 119 definitely go read that read what i'm talking about but he was like god what i suffered was good for me isn't that crazy you know and so you know sometimes i find myself i'm kind of like oh god i don't want to go through this why am i going through this but then i have to take the perspective of you know what can i learn from this you know god i feel like god every day he's helping me get through some of the hard moments where i feel like i want something in my life and you know god is getting me through those moments where i feel like how can i get through this and so anyway you know god wants us to be persistent you know if you're a new christian out there it's going to be hard you're going to face challenges you know where you're like it's not easy but you know you're not guaranteed to face challenges but at the same time you know you might go through something that's kind of difficult and so um you know i've i've been through something that's kind of difficult i've been through a few things more than a few uh and so yeah you know we we face challenges but trouble doesn't last always that's the good news you know the good news is that you know the bible has a nugget and it has a few nuggets one of those nuggets is that um god says that whoever would love life and see good days you know right there we don't have to go on yet but right there he says whoever would love life and see good days you know that means that we can love life and we can see good days but he goes on to say that you know let let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from deceitful speech let him turn from evil and do good let him seek peace and work to maintain it and so we have to work for our peace you know god wants us to put in effort you know he he does a lot for us you know he probably does everything for us but in a way that we um we put in effort ourselves. he has he works through us you know and so anyway also remember to get wisdom you know this channel is about wisdom you know and um we have to remember to get wisdom you know and learn about what you're going through you know obviously google is so great you know um searching things the internet you know you can find a lot of articles i recommend if you're a woman following bethany hamilton you know she lost her arm when she was a kid uh to a shark bite you know and i find her encouraging because she's a woman of faith you know um she she uh has persevered through challenges through ongoing challenges she's a mom you know and that's a challenge in of itself being a mom you know and so she's a mom with one arm and so i recommend watching her movie uh and uh, she has a movie a newer movie called unstoppable that came out in not so recent years um but anyway um you know uh there's some other things that we can talk about um like the new jerusalem um you know the new jerusalem's coming up um that that's one of the next things that's on god's prophetic timeline here is that you know god's gonna bring down the new jerusalem from heaven you know and so jesus is the one that qualifies us to get into the new jerusalem and um you know we do have to put in our effort you know we have to break off sins we have to confess our sins you know i did that today um just about something that i, I kind of already confessed it before but it just kind of came up in a conversation that i was having with a pastor and so you know it's good that we confess because God says that he can cleanse us from all unrighteousness um, when we confess our sins one to another so that's so good so anyway um, you know end times you know um, 
I guess as the world what what we're what are we expecting? You know, I think we're expecting the world to get more challenging, the world to get more evil. You know, that's what you're going to be seeing in the world. You're going to be seeing um, people rebelling more. You're going to be seeing people not being godly. Um, and that's what you can expect. But you can also um, expect God to deliver us. You know, God is going to deliver. And I think that's what sums it up. And I, I do recommend finding out the details of the end times. But also, you know... Put your faith in God and God says to pray that we escape all that will happen and to be counted worthy to escape everything and to stand before the son of man. So how do we be counted worthy? Well, we have to do what the Bible says continually. We can't give up, you know, even if we've, you know, had a bad year, you know, even if we have, you know, sin in the past. God wants us to not give up, you know, even though it's not okay for us to sin, you know, um, God still wants us to continue on and in our faith. And that's the other thing that we'll end this video on is that we have to have faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. So it's like believing of what we hope for, you know, it's like grabbing on to something that we don't necessarily have yet but we believing for it you know even though we haven't seen christ we believe that he's in heaven you know wherever heaven is we believe that he's in heaven and that he's coming down someday to get us you know and um we believe in god and we believe that the words of the Bible are true. We believe so much that we just obey them. That's what we put our faith in. We put our faith in God by saying, you know what? I believe in God so much. I believe in Jesus so much that I'm just going to do what he says. You know, even though, yes, you might want to go to that website that's bad, you know, you might want to go to that website and look at whatever else on there but you're saying no you know i if i if god gives me the power then i can walk away from from that lifestyle i can i cannot do that thing that you feel like is good or you feel like is fun you know walk away from that life and come to the knowledge of the truth the knowledge of the truth is that god wants us to be holy he wants us to be set apart from sin because he has so many good things in store for us. He has such a good life for us that um, it starts now. Godliness benefits in this life and the next life. So keep going. You know, I recommend praying more. The Bible says that if you're in trouble, uh, if you're in, um, if you're suffering, pray, you know, open up your mouth and and just start talking to God more than what you do. And God's going to come through for you. So, um, basically in the coming, you know, years, we can, we're looking forward to the rapture. But we're also looking forward to, um, you know, also just seeing prophetic things happen. And, um, you know, the rapture is, we don't know necessarily when it's going to take place. You know, so I sort of tend to I stick to scripture more instead of necessarily believing kind of like left behind series or different things like that. I support those series. I like watching the movie, but I tend to stick to scripture and, you know, and we call the rapture a when Jesus comes back for us, which that is that part is clear, but. The timing of the rapture, to me, is not very uh, tr transparent in scripture, which I think is okay. I think it's it's supposed to be that way. So anyway, um, I hope you got something from this video. Um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos um, about wisdom, about the Bible. Um, I kind of give an encouraging word as well, but I also like to... Um, talk about scripture sometimes i'll throw a bible study up 
on this channel um, sometimes I just share news about my own Christian life um, I kind of treat it as a online journal and I like to share parts of my life um, but obviously you may not necessarily be interested in that but that's what I find uh, you know is easy to be transparent you know and um, anyway I hope you th you watch the next video um, and thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you on the next video see ya